part's not going to be on there. Okay, now everybody's got to pretend to be nice. All right, Sam? <laughs> That's funny right there, Sam. Okay, I will hand you back. I'll hand you back your quizzes right now, but you should take notes on this, okay? So this one's an octagon, and I'm glad very, everybody got the word octagon right on the previous question, but some of you guys spelled octagon this way. I don't think that's right. I think that's right. But I did realize the other day, no, just last period, that these two names, all you need? Weird, right? All it needs is a, that O just needs a little tail. All right, so show that OM is 9.66 figures, correct, to three significant figures. Now, this is the one that we actually don't know how to do yet. So that's the one that I took off of your test for you. Okay? Nobody knew how to do it. Like, it's fine. It's fine. But, yeah, no. But we can do this one because it tells us that this is 9.66 and we have the base. Do you see? So what would the area of that triangle be? Huh. So it's one half base times height, right? Okay, now the tricky thing is, what's the base? Four. Or it could be eight. You could do twice of it, right? Oh, or is it four? Or is it eight? Or is it four? It's eight? Could you get the right answer if you used four? How many, okay, if you do eight, if you say the base is eight, how many of those triangles are in the whole thing? Eight, right? Because they're all the same, there'd be eight. But if you said four, there would be 16 of them. That's all. You could get the same answer either way. It wouldn't matter. Because look, like, it's isosceles, this triangle over, oh, I missed. Epic fail. This triangle over here is the same as this one over here, right? So anyway, um, so that is 4 times 9.66, right? I'll use this fancy uh, ciphering machine. Chunky cheese. <coughs> Now, um, it's Cambridge test. You're supposed to do three significant figures, but it actually gave you credit for that. It gave you a range of answers, 38.6 all the way up to 38.64. Okay, and then to get this one, you just had to multiply your answer by 16, right? I mean by 8. Sorry, I said 16, obviously. So times 8. Three o Hold on. Wait, what now? So do I multiply by, f wait, do I multiply this number by 16 or by 8? But some people are saying by 16 because they see this 4. Where did that 4 come from? That was half of 8. I already did. Do you see? It's right against octagons. Yeah, they're the most hated of polygons. No one knows why. No. Nope. That's right. It's so sad. So sad. Okay, Daniel. Thank you. Um, are we good so far? Yeah? Okay, most people got that. This is where we started getting into a little bit of trouble. Um, and I think you're better at it now. So, look, it says the, the um, there's a polygon and the polygon forms the base of a box, right? Mm. And the, wait, wait, and the height is 12. So we have a base, right, this base, and the height is 12, so it looked kind of like, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to draw it, let's say it was a square or a rectangle instead, it would be like this. Do you see? We have to find the volume, the volume is the area of the base 
times the height. Because it's a prism. That's how they work. Just like the stack of paper, remember? Yeah? So all you gotta do is take this answer times 12. That's it. Carlos, what's the matter? You doing okay over there, Carlos? Carlos, you heard what I said. I talked to August about a minute ago, right? Yeah? Okay. Get it together, buddy. Get it together. Who's got questions so far? Miss Bell, what's your question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have a problem. I think I have too many digits. Like, three significant digits is what you're supposed to do, so, like, that's, like, getting kind of silly. You could actually, I would probably, well, in fact, I think the answer key was, I would just do that. But either way is fine. You could have, so the answer key gave you, this is the possible range of answers. And I was really sad for one of you. I won't name any names, Anna. But for one of you, I was really sad. Because uh, the answer key, I don't make it. At Cambridge, this is, these are problems from old Cambridge tests. They publish the answer keys. I grade exactly like it said. Somebody had, I don't know how they got 0.4, but that's what they had, and it didn't count. And it was only worth one point. So it made me sad, because that didn't seem fair. But yeah. OK. This is the one I really wanted to talk about, though. Daniel, you know what toffees are? No, but they mentioned it all last year, and it got me angry. You don't know what toffee is? But I told you last year. But you don't listen. You draw pictures of fighting chickens. <laughs> Hawk pride, buddy. Hawk pride. Hawk pride. OK. Uh, toffees are they're like hard candy. Like, you know what a score bar is or a Heath bar? That's chocolate covered toffee. It's delicious. It gets like really cemented in your, in your teeth. Mmm, yum. OK, Emma, you tired? You having a bad day? OK. All right. Would, would a spoon make you feel better? No? How many spoons? OK, never mind. All right. Back on track, back on track. So Solis, um, a box contains 200 toffees, and they're cuboids. So wait, what shape's a cuboid? What were we saying a cuboid was yesterday, Sergio? Because you were going to call this one thing a cuboid from then on. R right, a stick of butter? Right? A stick of butter? These are butter-shaped. OK, so it's 3 by 2 by 2. So the volume would be just those, the product of that, right? Is that right? So 3 times 2 times 2, is that 12? So the volume is 12 centimeters cubed. But you have 200 of them. So that's. Now, a couple things. I, I hope you guys are taking notes. I know a lot of you guys aren't. Quit looking at Sergio, or quit looking at Saul. Saul, zip it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Quincy likes it too, because he's trying to concentrate. Quincy, um, man, this isn't very fair, but sometimes on a Cambridge test, if you don't write the units, you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's how you know you don't need to, because you see it's already right there. Because it's there, you don't need to. But you better look. You better look. Because if they don't put the unit there, you better. Because if not, they'll mark you a point off. This is worth two points. Some of you guys got it right, but you didn't show work, which is fine for this one. But you better. If it's worth more than one point, you better show work. Because you, you might be totally wrong, but get half the credit depending on the work you show. Don't make it nonsense, but you know, show your work. All right. Now, percentage of the volume of the box not filled. Now, some people in here, they wrote a paragraph. It looked like a five-page excerpt from War and Peace explaining why there was not enough information. Which is silly, because <laughs> they give you the volume of the box. You have the volume of the box from this part. It's 
that. <laughs> right? And the, the volume of the toffees is that. So if you subtract the two, that would tell you the volume that's not filled up by the toffees, right? And you have to figure out the percentage of the box not filled by toffee. So I think that if we uh, plug this into this fancy calculating machine, Some people wrote that, and that made me sad. <coughs> because that's a very small percentage. 0.35% is very, very small. The answer is 35.3%, not this. That's not the percentage. That's the decimal portion of it you have. It's not a percentage. Questions? To sell? <coughs> um, that's okay. Nope. Nope. That's fine. Other questions? Jeffiner? No questions? You sure? Okay. <laughs>